Hello, y'all. My old school soul food fans, subscribers. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, today I'm going to be doing uh, something I grew up on and been doing for years. I was taught by my mom. Today I'm going to be making some old school grape jelly. Uh, I, like y'all have seen in my previous videos or posts, I can a lot. I do a lot of jelly jams and chow chow, stuff like that, barbecue sauce. I make it all homemade and I can it in jars. And I'm going to show you a recipe for grape jelly today. A lot of times I grew up on, it wasn't this kind of grape juice. It was uh, actual grapes we would pick and my mama would cook it down and make jelly. But that's something all year long you don't have that, the, the, the specific types of grapes. So I'm going to use uh, Welch's grape juice, which pretty much tastes the same method. Just you just eliminating a, a step of the grapes itself and, and taking the juice out of them. So anyway, let's get started. First thing I did, I got jars here that I sterilized in hot boiling water for like 15, 20 minutes. It's very important that your jars are very clean and sanitized. Canning is very important that you do it right and properly. If you don't, you can get somebody sick or you can have a product that's not good. So, I mean, I pretty much do this in my sleep. I watched my mom do it growing up, and I've been doing it so long. I do it pretty much in my sleep. So, anyway, I got my jaws already pre-sanitized and stuff like that. And I'll show you the other methods that go along. The first thing I'm going to do, we're going to get the filling, or well, the jelly going here. I got, a, like I say, grape juice. This is Welch's. I always use the Welch's 100%. Grape juice. And like I say, I got the recipe on the description of the video. So y'all don't worry. Put this in here. It's all the way up. There we go. And I'm gonna put butter in here. The butter is for the it all it does two purposes. It eliminates the uh jelly from getting cloudy. And uh it gives it a shine right at the end when you add butter. And I'm gonna add sugar to this. I don't measure this. I know how much it is, but I do have the exact measurements on the on my page there on the old school soul food video uh, description. All right. Okay, we're gonna let this come to a boil, and then we're gonna add our sugar gel, our pectin to this. And then we're going to can it up. So we'll be right back when this comes to a boil. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. This starting to boil a little. Now what I want to do, see this little stuff off the top? I want to skim this off of here with a spoon as much as I can. Because you don't want that into the jelly. Get that off of there. As much as I can get off of that. Take long to do this. Yes, sir. Bring that a little more. A little bit more. Okay. That's it. Now, we're going to let that come back up to a boil again. Get a little bit more boil on it. And then we're going to put the pectin in there, the sheer gel. And we're going to thicken it up. And then we're going to put it in our jars. That's so simple, making jelly. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. This is what you want. You want the juice to be, come to a rapid boil there. Before you add your sheer gel or your pectin. We do not keep saying sheer gel or pectin. Some people, in, depending on where you stay, you don't have sheer gel. Or you just have natural fruit pectin like this. So I grew up on sheer gel, but pectin is more of a natural for me. So I'm going to add this to this. Stir it in really good. To me, it's just like cornstarch, this stuff. Natural cornstarch, but 
Anyway, you're going to whisk it in good. And this stuff, you're going to feel it to thicken up. It's going to slightly start to thicken. But you need to bring it back to a complete boil. Okay. Now what we're going to do, I need you to come to a complete boil. I need you to come back to another, up to another boil. And then it'll be completely thickened. And then we're going to add it to our jaws. So I'll be right back. When it comes to a boil, I'll be right back and show you the thickness of it. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. The jelly is ready to put in the jaws. Nice and thickened. And here's a trick. If y'all don't know the people just, just starting out making jelly, don't know when it's ready, you got enough pectin in it, got enough shoe gel in it. Here's a trick. I'm going to show you the freezer saucer trick. You get a saucer, put it in the freezer, take a little, put it on the saucer, move it around like this. See that? That show you your jelly is going to be good. Look at that. See that? Thicken that quick. That's another trick you can do. We see this is ready. Now, turn it off. We're going to get our jaws. sizes here today. I'm going to fill it up with the jelly here. I might have more jelly than jars, so that's okay. Got a little thing here. What I do, I take my little measuring cup. I'm going to just pour it in there like that. See that? Good. Now go to the next jar. This here. See how pretty that is? Let me show y'all another one. Then I'm going to finish these up and I'm going to come back and show you how to seal the jars. do right now see these lids right here I'm gonna dump them in this, in this boiling water behind me because I want to seal the lids I want to take the lids right off and put it right on the jaws when they come out the water the jaw here yeah, you see that jelly already setting up that's when you know you got a good batch of grape jelly blackberry jelly plum jelly it's all the same method. It's all the same cooking method. So I'm gonna fill these jars up and I'll be right back when I got them filled up and I'm gonna show you how I seal them. And we'll go and we're gonna put them back into a water bag for 15, 20 minutes and completely seal them and I'll show you the finished product. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. I got all the jellies in the jars here, you can see. And this here, I have the top. See how sanitized here in the hot water. So what I'm going to do, I'll take them out of here. So these need to be really hot when you put them on the jars so they'll seal. That's another thing that's important. And you can see I don't have no fancy cooking pot, nothing like that for my jellies. This regular old pot. Okay, now this one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take these and place them right on the on the jar. Right on the jar. Just like this. And that way, like I say, it's important that they hot. So they'll seal completely to the jar. That's very important to create a, a really good seal on the jar. More here. 
one more in here somewhere already. Okay, now we're gonna put the lids on here. And get a towel, this is gonna be kind of warm here. And I'm gonna put it right back into the water here. I'm gonna boil it for 15, 20 minutes. Now you can go online and get the scientific, depending on where you stay, the scientific canning method. But like I say, I've been doing this so many years, watching my mama do it. You know, in the old school day, you didn't have no scientific nothing to do it. You just doing it to be doing it. One more here. Right, completely sealed on there, really tight. Okay, I'm gonna let them boil there. While it's boiling, I'm gonna put the rest of these lids on here. You see how easy this is to make jelly? And I'll be selling my jellies and jams too, in the probably around the spring of this year. Blackberry jelly, blueberry jelly. Grape jelly, plum jelly, peach jelly, all kinds. Two more here. Like I say, I'm gonna let this ball here. And what this do is gonna completely seal these things, and it's gonna create a seal, and then you'll hear this thing ping. You might hear them ping while I'm on video or not. They'll ping in the next two or three hours. There's nothing like hearing the ping of can, canning in the middle of the night. So I'll be right back. I'm going to let this boil, set it to the side here. And we'll do the process and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, I got the last few things to come out here. Like I said, they've been boiling for, I do the eat 20 minutes here. Come out of here. And that's like I said, gonna completely seal the jellies here. Put them out there on the towel on the counter. And these suckers gonna pop. That's what you wanted to do. Of course, they ain't started popping yet, but in the next two or three hours, sometimes it'll pop right away. You're gonna seal. Now I got one here that I did a few months ago. Same thing, grape jelly. And you see how that seal is completely sealed on there? That's what these gonna do. Right now the seal is up. But later on, they gonna uh, press down and you're gonna hear this ping, ping or pop. And that means that show you the thing is completely sealed, just like this one. So I'm gonna show you this one here. I did already. See how tight that seal is? See how the seal is on there? It's completely sealed. Only way to get this off is to see, see that pop to get it off. See that? And look at the jelly. See? That's where that's where it's gonna look when they come out. Old school grape jelly. The stuff here is just it's awesome. Mm hmm. On a biscuit, toast, anything. And that's what it is. But I'm going to come right back. I'm going to show y'all my canning room where I got lots of other jellies already canned. And we'll come back and we'll seal the deal on this. And we'll check it out later. I'll be right back. I'm going to show y'all my canning room. All right, y'all, we back. Yeah, this is why I keep a lot of my jellies. I have more, but I keep a lot of them here when people come over, whatever. Like I said, I got I do my old school chow chow. I do pear preserve. I got peach preserve. I got peach jelly. See that? Peach jelly there. I have my grape down here. Blackberry. I keep my blackberry hidden back here because that's the real when my relatives come over, they love blackberry. The blackberry is a little bit more processed. So I keep that kind of hidden back there. I do bread and butter pickles right here. I do that. And other things, like I said, I got my pear preserves here. 
Like I said, I keep all my jellies here in a nice, cool place here. And like I said, I can everything. I even got some barbecue sauce here somewhere. Old school barbecue sauce. Uh, back here somewhere that I can't keep. But yeah, it's very simple. Can is very simple. If you do it properly, have the thing completely sealed like it's supposed to be, it's really good. And you can, like I said, make a big bag, give it away for, for its gifts, for families and friends. Like I said, I'm going to start selling these. I'm going to start making big and big batches of it, a commercial kitchen, and start selling online. That's going to happen later on this year. But who doesn't like real fresh homemade jams and jellies? So anyway... Until next time, thanks for watching this video. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.